Hello class, this is Jen Duran. I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about your PowerPoint presentations. One very important point to remember is plagiarism. When you're doing a presentation in class, just like a paper, you want to make sure that you give credit to all of your sources. So real quickly, I'm going to take you through um, just some points on how to give credit to your sources. And so here's a little title page to this uh, chemical energy presentation. And um, as this person was putting together their presentation, some of the information came from this author, Norwaki, on page 263. This is done in an MLA format for this presentation. So anytime you use quoted text or paraphrased information, it's important to cite the source. So this is from the textbook. And also, if you're putting in images, it's very important to cite the source. You want to put in what figure it is and give the image a title and have your parenthetical citation of where you got the image. We also want to talk about some images that you don't have to cite the source. If you use clip art, I got this clip art from the Microsoft PowerPoint. And if you're using Microsoft PowerPoint, the clip art does not need a citation. So this little clip art of carbohydrates does not need a citation. Finally, let's take a look at um, our works cited page. So here's the works cited page and you have your image citation you have citation from some of the work that you were paraphrasing and you have a citation from the textbook that you used make sure you put these in alphabetical order that you have your hanging indent but complete citations for all your graphics and the sources used or even mentioned in your presentation should be in your final slide of your presentation. So that's a good way to avoid plagiarism and give credit where credit is due. Good luck with your PowerPoint.